Welcome to my garden. Today we are exploring tips on creating a habitat garden at home. It doesn't matter how small your garden is, even the smallest of gardens has potential to provide habitat for wildlife. Your garden can provide wildlife with increased foraging opportunities in your neighbourhood with different sources of food and refuge for shelter, protection from the heat, rain, wind and predators. Ideally we would have all native plants in our gardens but it's easy to incorporate non-native plants as well. In my garden I have native plants such as this banksia and I have food plants such as this mango tree and this lemongrass. Having a variety of plants in your garden that flower and fruit at different times of the year helps to create a healthy habitat garden. Ideally you'll have four layers in your habitat garden. You'll have canopy trees, mid-storey small trees and shrubs, ground covers like grasses and herbs, and a ground layer of mulch, rocks and logs. I don't have any large canopy trees in my garden, so I have installed a nest box for larger fauna such as possums. This hanging water dish is ideal for small birds as they won't use a water bowl that's on the ground for fear of predation. This water dish on the ground, however, is ideal for lizards. But make sure you put sticks in the water bowl so that the lizards can get out. These mid-storey trees and shrubs provide dense foliage for protection and food, encouraging pollinators into your garden such as bees and birds. Materials such as these grass seeds and this air plant all provide nesting materials for birds. Leaf litter, rocks and logs provide invaluable habitat for small fauna such as lizards. Leaf litter like this also protects your soil, keeping it moist and healthy. In my garden here I've got some rocks, some branches and logs. But in the bushfire season you'll need to reduce the leaf litter fuel load around your house to protect your house from fire. In a healthy habitat garden, you should see butterflies, moths, insects, bees and birds, lizards and frogs. I hope you enjoy creating a habitat garden at home.